Hello, thank you for joining me. I've just come out for a ride in my larder. I'm just parked near Taplow Station. We're going for a ride to start with on the western section of the Elizabeth Line. It's the 27th of May, 2023. A year ago and three days ago, on the 24th of May, 2022, the Elizabeth Line, the central core section opened. That all seems so long ago now. Now you can get a train from here at Taplow right through to Abbey Wood. And what we're doing in today's video we're not going that way towards central London. As I said, we're going to go west, we're going to Reading, and then we're going to go a little way beyond Reading, down to the south to visit the new Reading Green Park station. It opens today, so I'm excited to go somewhere. It's always exciting to go to a railway station on the day they first open. So we're not far now from the railway station. I always park down there because it's free. If you come down here on a weekday, that would be uh, the cars all along there. Anyway, we are very nearly at Taplow Station, where our journey starts. There you go, Taplow Station is just up there, that's the railway line. I'm going to go and buy a ticket to Reading Green Park. Here we are on Taplow's rather spacious footbridge. Almost feels like you could sort of, you know, have like a party or a wedding reception or something up here, it's so big. Over there, it's in, that's looking towards London that way. And down there. It's the station. The train's due in about two minutes. So I'm going to go down there and catch my train. Platform 3 from 0955 Elizabeth Line service to Reading. Calling at Maidenhead, Twyford and Reading. So we've arrived at Reading, Reading General. It's not actually called Reading General anymore, but I think it's quite nice that they've kept this, this old style sign. There's a few of them around the station. I remember last year I stood by one of the other signs and started a video when we went to the Reading Society of Model Engineers up at Prospect Park. If you'd like to see that video, have a look at the link on screen now. It's always quite busy and chaotic here. Look, there's a train to Penzance arriving. That's always a nice journey to do. Not as fun on those as it was on the HST. I think though the journey we're doing is going to be somewhat less busy, less chaotic and um, on how many people are going just to go to Reading Green Park. This is our train, 165118 over here in the bay platforms. I don't know if I've even ever been out of these bay platforms before. I might have done, yeah, I think I probably have done about once but I certainly haven't done many journeys. In fact the journey on the line down to Basingstoke, I've only been on that once in my life before. And that was in 2002 when Virgin Cross Country still used Class 47s. I remember a friend of mine and I, we went, we wanted to do a Class 47 to Bournemouth. So we took the train up to Banbury and came down here. But on the way, we actually did the other side of the curve. There's a huge triangle up there. We did the other side of the curve. So I have done that. And then on the way back, I remember the train came in and out. Actually, it was an HST we came back on, came into Reading. So this is my train, 165, 118. I'm down to just three 165s I need to travel on. This isn't one of them. Two of them are Reading based, one's Bristol based. So, quite soon, we'll be travelling out that way to Reading Green Park. I'm really excited to go and take a brand new station off on its first day. Well, we've just left Reading West. We're still on the line that I do quite regularly. Well, it branches off in a moment, the line to the West Country. Not far up there is the miniature railway I mentioned earlier, which is well worth a visit. So this is now South Coast Junction, so the overhead wires will peel off in a moment and they head west down towards Taunton. Yeah, it's just filled up as we branch off. There was also another line that went off on the other side, went to a good step over. Maybe that's a video for another day. So this isn't new track for me, but this is track I've not done for 21 years, so quite a while ago. There we are, that's the, the line over there which goes, as I said, down to Newbury, Westbury, and eventually Taunton. The Barks and Hants, as it's known. I don't know why it's called the Barks and Hants, because it doesn't actually go through Hampshire at all. It should be more like the Berkshire, Wiltshire, and Somerset, but it's not. So, Reading Green Park Station 
is very soon. That's the River Kennet or Kennet and Avon Canal we just passed over. It's going to be interesting to see what's there. It's quite a lot of greenery, so that certainly goes with the Green Park feel of it. Almost thought like this morning, should I go up to London and go to Green Park Station first and start the video? But no, I didn't. So, yeah, there's no no wires here, so it's only diesel trains. You get the odd steam that comes through. I think it's on the 21st of June. Flying Scotsman's due to pass through here, so that probably be the first opportunity yeah, to see steam. Pushing. There you go at this station. There you go. Now past Rangoon Park, just past another turbo going in the opposite direction. So I'm going to see this station in a minute for the first time and it'll be on YouTube. I've not been here at all before. Like I said, I've not passed through this line for 20, not been on this line for 21 years. So it's quite a few people getting up to get off, I can just see. So probably quite a lot of people like myself are coming here, you know, to be here on the new railway station's first day. Just to say, you know, they were there. I'll always, you know, I'll always remember this now. And I'll always think, yeah, Reading Green Park on the few times I passed through here, I was there on its first day people on the platform observing the trains. All looks, well, I was going to say all looks very new, but of course it, it is brand new. Here we are. This is, yeah, half the carriage appears to be getting out here. So, what we'll do, in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down this way because I want to watch the, get a video of the train departing, the train I travelled here on. I'll get a video of it departing Reading Green Park. This is Reading Green Park. So as we, there's our train that brought us here. So we'll watch that go and then we'll have a look around the station. So our train has now departed for Basingstoke. Let's go and have a look around the station. Another train coming. So there's another train coming quite soon. Admittedly, I was just chatting to a few other people, so it was probably about 20 minutes ago that train actually left. But anyway, let's have a look at the station. So here's the station building. I think it's the most attractive station I've ever seen, I have to say. Although there is a bit of an um, architectural feature here, which I quite like. If you have a look at the block work, Every third one is a slightly different colour and it's it's really smooth. This is a bit more a bit more rough. So there's a bit of an architectural feature there. Let's go inside the station building and we'll have a look, see what there is inside. So down there you've got the toilets and then down that end there's a gate line. I'm gonna to have to ask them soon when I go to leave the station if I can keep my ticket because I want to keep it because it's the first day. Interesting, there's a special event taking place here. It's not the fact that there's loads of people coming here today just to see a new railway station. There is actually some other special event. There's a nice picture there. Now, open. now let's go and have a look outside. So we come out here and um, people are clapping. Here comes the next train. So this is a class 165. Now this one, I saw it going the other way when I arrived. I think it's 165113. It's one I still need to travel on. I've had all but three of the 165s. So I'm almost tempted to get on this one, but I don't train have a valid to ticket. Arrive. Part one is the 1113 Great Western Railway service to Basingstoke. Calling at Morsma, Bramley and Basingstoke. This train is called of three coaches. So that train is for the free coaches. I think this is the way out of the station. When the ticket office is closed, people would come out this way. Let's now go and have a look on the other side of the station. So yeah, I do need that, that unit for haulage. So what I'm going to do, I'll probably try and go back on that one. As we come up here, we get a bit of a view of the rest of the station or the area outside. I can see a lake in the distance. We'll go and have a proper look around there. Of course there is lifts, as you always get on a new station. 
here's the view from the bridge. So let's see what we can see up here. So yeah, it's the 165 waiting down there. That way is looking towards Reading. So it's looking directly north there. Now let's try out the lifts, shall we? And not much on the other side of the station. Just a wasteland. A lot of green though. Reading Green Park. Here's the lift. So let's go down to the other side. And we'll see the rest of the station. So yeah, I'm really pleased to see another railway station added to the list. More and more stations, you know, are opening, and I try and go to them on their first day or as Platform. near as I can to their opening day. So it's, it's always a really nice atmosphere. But like today, it's such a nice atmosphere it's station because the majority of the people who are here are here because they go to the train. They're here to see the station for the first time. There must be some people. I don't think those flats are finished yet. But some people who live locally who have had to catch a bus into town. But now, if you live not too far, you can now just walk here and get a train into Reading and beyond. So that's, you know, a, a certain population of people now have a railway station on their doorstep. So that's always a positive thing. There's no other entrance out on this side. Maybe one day, we'll have to wait and see what happens in the future. They might build more houses out on that side. And there could well be another entrance out the back of the station. We'll have to wait and see what happens there. From this side, gives us a chance to have another look at the station building. As I say, I don't think it's the most attractive. I do quite like what they've done with the block work. That makes it, yeah, just, just sets it out a little bit different. So you've got some more waiting shelters just down here. And then if we continue, we're almost, we might as well for the sake of doing it, we'll go right to the end of the platform. And then I think there might be a freight train coming through. So we'll see freight. It's been a few cross countries come through. Of course, cross countries are going to and from Dickert Parkway at the moment because of the Nunham Viaduct collapse or damage in Oxford, although that is due to reopen soon. The cross country trains, I don't think there's ever any plans for them to stop here. But you know, if you wanted to catch one, you'd just simply catch a train from here, Reading Green Park, to Reading. Anyway, I'm going to now wait and see this freight come through. I'll just have a look at that way. See all the new flats that are being built. So, obviously, a lot of people are going to live in the new flats and another station on their doorstep. There is also, I can't see it, but not too far from here, is the Majeski Stadium. So we're gonna go and have a walk over there once the freight's been through. There we go, that was the first freight that sort of passed through here, 66068. Now I've just noticed something on the bridge, the footbridge, look, that is the bridge is identity. Usually they're in chains, but this one is in yards. So it's 38 miles, I assume from London Paddington, 1,594 yards. I've never seen a bridge in yards before. So it's quite nice they're still using imperial measurements. The railways is one place where imperial measurements, you know, are still quite prominent in some cases, on London Underground or metric, but on the National Railways, all the bridges are usually marked by chains. So it's interesting to see that one's marked by yards. What I'm gonna do now though, I'm gonna go and have a look out the front of the station. I'm outside the station now. It's quite nice, they were giving away these little badges. See that, Reading Green Park. So I've got a nice little souvenir of the day. So this is the, the ticket office and the gate line. And there's that, that picture again of the station. The departure board there, all the departures, it's all Reading or Basingstoke. There's no other destination served. Well, look, there's a bus stop right outside the station, so it's conveniently served for public transport. So you come out here, there's a little Tesco Express, and 
there's a car park over there. So I thought we'll do, we'll just walk over here and we get a look at the station from this angle. As I said, when I was going up on the bridge, I noticed the lake. So I'm keen to have a look, walk around the lake and just see what else there is. The Majeski Stadium's not too far away from here. So that's something else. That's probably what a lot of people who travel here will travel here to use. So there we are, that's a good view there of Reading Green Park. Let's go and explore a little bit further. It is really quite pleasant down here, down by the water. This is called the South Lake. I expect it was some sort of gravel pit or quarry. I noticed looking on a map in that direction, there's a lot more lakes in the area. As you can see, there is new flats and then houses and apartments being built around the lake. Now there's a path. We can't quite walk all the way around the lake yet because the construction isn't finished. But if we follow this sweeping path, we can have a little explore of the area. So at the moment, this does all feel really nice. It probably will always be a pleasant place. Look at that, that bridge. That's exciting and fun. It just probably will be a lot busier, especially on a nice day like this. While it's all new and there's only a few people just coming to have a look and you know, all the apartments aren't yet lived in, it's quite nice and quiet. I really like this bridge down here. I'm going to just put a path along there. This is so much more fun, having a bridge over the water. The water's very nice and clear. You can, I can see straight in, see down to the bottom. I can't see any fish. I'm not really into fishing, but well, I see them swimming so we'll have a look around here and look around the gardens and then soon it'll be time for me to head back i think it's the 12 12 around that kind of time because i really want to catch 165113 then I'll, I'll be down to just two winning 165s we think they've been around all my life i remember as a child them when they first arrived on the Chilton main line i remember the old dmus before them and then the 165s came and i've seen them all probably about 10 years i saw them all it's just a few I haven't been on. As for the 166s, well, that's another story. It's quite a lot of them I still need, but the 165s, I nearly seen them. Anyway, as for this, this is just nice and breezy, a nice spring day. Railway station over there. I'm just going to continue around here. And then, as I said, it'll be time for me to go and catch my train back. Just had a very nice cup of tea in this Triple Two Cafe. I quite like their logo. I think it's meant to be scooters, but it looks a bit like a steam loco. This is the area on the other side of the lake, and the station is just over there. So people will probably, people have already moved into these brand new houses around here. They can grab their cup of tea or coffee and make their way over to the station because there wasn't a cafe at the station. That was one thing I noticed it didn't have a cafe. Some new railway stations do, others don't. Reading Green Park doesn't, but Triple Two Cafe. It's quite nice, and this is all really pleasant. So, it, yeah, every time you come to a new station, the area around them is always different. Sometimes, you know, you're in the middle of an urban area here. We're just on the edge of a major town. The only thing I think Reading is missing is it could do have a tram network. A town the size of this, if this was in Germany, there'd definitely be trams. I really wish Re Reading did have trams once and trolley buses. I wish Reading had trams. Reading would be perfect if it had trams, and I can almost imagine a tram route passing by here. So. We'll walk back around the lake now, back to Reading Green Park. Well, here we are back at Reading Green Park Station. Been quite an interesting morning out, somewhere not too far from home for me to go to, but somewhere all completely new, as I said earlier on. I've only ever done this line once in the past. I'm going to have to get a train down to Basingstoke sometime just to do the other part of the line. I did visit Bramley Station a month or so ago when Braunton came through. So have a look at link on the screen now, be able to see a video of that. We're now here to catch our free coach train. So there's free trains out doing the stopping service that stop at Reading West, Reading Green Park, Mortimer and Bramley. Two of them are two cars and there's one free car one. And it's the free car one we're catching. As I said, it's due to be 165113, one of my winning units. So we're going to wait and see that arrive, and then back to Reading we go.
So here we are, we're departing Reading Green Park. That was really quite a nice morning. See a nice new railway station in nice weather. I'm traveling back to Reading. I'm traveling in first class. I don't have a first class ticket, but there is no first class service on this line because the other 165, the two car ones, no longer have any first class accommodation. So that means the first class is declassified. So I'm gonna enjoy a first class journey, a standard class price for the 10 or so minute journey back to Reading. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe. And from somewhere between Reading Green Park and Southcote Junction, goodbye.